Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to show you how to use a protractor to measure the angle, or the measure of an angle, I should say. And so what does a protractor look like? Well, it's typically made out of plastic. And notice that it has degrees marked along the edge of the protractor. The protractor is kind of like a semicircle on one side, and it's a flat side on the other side right here. And notice, since this represents a semicircle, the angle from this one side to the other side has to add up to 180 degrees, so they're marked typically in 10 degree intervals. And then you'll have small markings in between to indicate individual degree markings. And it goes all the way around. And notice that typically a protractor also starts from zero on the other side, and typically on the inside of the, of the protractor here, and marks it all the way from zero to 180 degrees in the other direction, which makes it easier to place it onto your angle so that you can read it from one direction or from the other direction. So then you take your protractor and you place it where your angle is. So here's an angle, here are the two rays, and notice the, there's a dot right there in the middle that lines up from 0 to 0 degrees on one side, or from 0 to 180 on one side. And over here, if you draw a straight line down, it hits right perpendicular to the 90 degrees at the top. So that point right here is typically placed on the vertex of the angle. And then you place the side, the, the long side, or the flat side of the protractor, along one of the two rays. And then you can see that the other ray then will go cut through that uh, semicircle portion of the protractor and you can see then where it cuts through you can actually read the angle. Now if the, on this side it was the same as over here that it goes from 180 to 170 to 160 then you wouldn't be able to read it along that side you would have to read it on the inside so sometimes the, the markings will be on the inside at 10 degrees and 20 degrees and 30 degrees and so forth so either you read it on the outside or the inside if the inside has the proper markings from 0 to 10 to 20 to 30 and so forth, then the outside will start at 180 degrees and at 170 degrees, and then this will then be 160 degrees and 150 degrees, and this here will be 140 degrees. And then obviously it doesn't make it easy to read the angle, to measure the angle on the outside of the protractor, you would then use the inside of the protractor. Now, on this particular example, notice that the 30 degrees is just shy of the, of the ray right here, and then the 40 degrees is past it, so then you have to look at the small lines in between to figure out exactly where that angle measure is. So in this case, it looks like if we call this, um, this endpoint vertex A, then you can say the measure of angle A, and sometimes we can write it like this if we don't have the other... Uh, points on the rays, and we can say that that's equal to, let's say, 32 degrees. That's approximately that. So here I have a, um, yeah, protractor, kind of a strange looking protractor, but anyway, it works. So what we want to do is we want to take the dot right here. So sometimes the dot isn't placed right at the edge, the dot is placed a little bit higher up, uh, but that works as well, doesn't matter. So what we would do is we would pay, place the dot right there, where the vertex is, and then you can see here that would be the zero angle reading. So there you put that at zero, and then you would take a look over here and see where the second ray crosses the markings over here. Or you could do it the other way around. You could put the dot right there, take the ray like this, take the ray and put it right at the zero reading right here because the zero reading is not quite at the edge, so it's right there, and then here you would read the actual measure of the angle along the, the edge right here. So you can use your protractor like this, or oop, you can use your protractor like this. Either way will work just fine. That's how it's done.